game. Quit doing this. I don't know why my game's being all toolboxy. Alright, now we can shut off the stupid laser terminal. Ow. Control terminal, blah blah blah. Can you operate the control panel? Yes, I will. Alright, through here and into this weird building. I'm gonna open up my other drink. Facility entrance. And a thingy. Trat. Superintendent's will. I knew it would all come down to this. There is no way humans could ever... Humans and dinosaurs could ever coexist. Um, I figure that would be a given. Like, most of them like to eat anything that has flesh in order to satiate their appetite. I don't really think they're in negotiating terms with us. But if we sacrifice our lives now, we would leave the chance for the we would leave a chance for the existence of the human race. The irony is that this whole facility in which we are trapped in was built to sustain a sustainable environment for the dinosaurs. I am currently the superintendent of the facility and I am the only one left. I don't belong here. There is no future for this world. The children hurt by the dinosaurs have been put in the inside life support chambers. I trust that the people of the past, quotes, will take care of them. The life support chambers are almighty. It should be able to heal any wound, no matter how critical they may be. Also, the life support chambers will feed knowledge and teach them about this world. However, the chambers were originally designed for the growth of dinosaurs. Oh, I bet that's comfortable <laughs> to sleep in. Thus, the knowledge fed will be limited to the knowledge of coexisting with the dinosaurs. The tragedy is that the children will eventually lose their ability to sp ability to speak. Oh, oh, that that chick is one of them, then, huh? She can't really talk to us. But instead, they will have the inputted instinct to protect the dinosaurs. That would explain why they keep shooting at us. Today I have recorded my message for the man who will defini definitely come here. With this, I have no nothing to regret. So this perimeter... The facility perimeter's environmental data is imaged. Shows that... Where, the image shows that there used to be a jungle where Edward City is now. Cool. That was dramatic. Superintendent's room. Oh, is that another dino file? Oh, well, I guess not. Year 2009. It all began in... Bolzina. Bolzinia. A small republic in the uh, yeah, a small republic in the southern sea. The first overdrive was the beginning of everything. During transportation something went wrong, and it resulted in a crack in the space time, which skewed history forever after the Cretaceous area. Era, not area, I'm silly. To investigate the skewed biological history after the Cretaceous, an extensive experiment was conducted in the global scale. In a global scale, the result devastating. I just like pretended to pull sunglasses off of my face. <laughs> the space-time skew quotes would take its effect on all living organisms. The Earth's history would change dramatically, and the change would wipe the human race from ever existing. That was the conclusion of the experiment. The plan was to transport the living organisms of the Cretaceous period through the time gate to a world with a similar environment 
far into the future after the crisis is passed. A dino crisis, perhaps? Their organisms would then be returned to their original time. We called this the Noah's Ark plan. This was the only plan that would leave any chance for the existence of the human race. We hope that this was this plan was successful, and we shall declare the execution of this plan. Warp Central, or WAPP -A Central Council. There's a fly flying around, and I don't like it. On my screen, in my face. Take a large med pack, because why not? Go shit. Give one final save these after, uh, buy that. I don't actually know why we would need this, since we already have three, but just because I like for the things to be filled. And we will buy our stun gun and machete thing. Alright. We have purchased all of the upgrades. All of them. Another one? Oh, I just bought one of those. Large laboratory hall. the X button stairs. Oh hey, it's you. Welcome, Lieutenant Morton. What? A hologram? How does he know my name? Oh. That's not creepy. While explain it. Short and simple. It's the music from the beginning. On August 10th, 2055, our Noah's Ark plan became successful. Year 2055? What's he talking about? To, sa to save the dinosaurs, we transferred the dinosaurs to this time. Three million years ahead of our time. Mm -hmm. Come on, game. It's being all dramatic right now. Quit chugging and stuff. But there was another accident and we were about to go back. The gate disappeared and we were stranded in this time. And this is the future. There was no way for us to survive in this world where dinosaurs now rule. We, the remaining survivors, hurried to recover the gate. But it's too late now. And my wife, Julia, was killed by the dinosaurs. And my loving child, she was hurt. Badly. Paula. Paula. Oh, hey, it's her. Paula? Is that your name? I feel like that picture on the wall is like a draft for a promotional Papa. poster. My only mission now is to protect my group. I have kept Paula and the other children safe by putting them inside life support chambers. Children back to your time. 
special forces track member, Colonel Tony Morgan. What? Ooh. You're my dropping a bomb. Future? Only once. I guess we have to wait for Regina then. Oh yeah. So, yeah, plot twists and stuff. Exciting. There, are, due to the nature of time travel and stuff, there's probably a whole lot of holes that can be poked into the plot of, of this game just because of that and how it revolves around that. Especially the part where we're actually in the future and dinosaurs are ruling the planet. But I still think it was kind of the first time like a good oh, like one of those gasp moments. And then again when it's revealed that hologram dude was Dylan. As a kid, I was like, oh, wow, that's so cool. I still think it's kind of cool, but I can understand why people would... My point is this plot twist, you know, it was just kind of alright, didn't really do much, but it also didn't totally... Self-destruct system? In five minutes. What? what? Who did that? Oh. You toolbox. You have problems, dude. Come on, Dylan. You're way... Oh. I was gonna say, you're way tougher than them, but you're not tougher than him. Dude, a missile fell on you. No, it almost fell on Regina. You were in the blast radius of that missile. No, if Regina could survive, there's no way this thing couldn't. Oh, five minutes. <laughs> Alright, so we have to make sparing use of our rocket launcher here. Ow. This fight is significantly more difficult than... Ouch. Why did that happen? I never used the rescue pack. Where is this going? Oh. I'm putting a save state right here. For the sake of not being... Oh. Ow. Two cheap shots. Three cheap shots. Well, what was it about what I did the first time that was so wrong? Alright, we have to talk to these computers real quick. Shut down? Get out of here. Stupid machines. this thing go away by shooting it in the face with a rocket. Well, not go away. The emergency control terminal is connected to the communication line of the anti-satellite. Will you operate the control terminal? 
Oh, it's repeating things to me. This is terrible when you're wearing headphones. We have to run to the other. Ow. Ow. I think we have to run over here first. I love how 1200 is just the thing for getting solid hits on this. I probably had to talk to that other computer first. Oh my god, this thing goes ham, and I do not like it. I do not like or appreciate it at all. The thing is vicious. All of the ferocity, none of the, none of the moving away. Ow. No, oh, Dylan, we cannot afford this. Back off. I'm probably gonna have to retry this. I like the music for this though. It's increased drama. Stop it! Sorry, you need to open the communication line at the target. Alright, so I do have to run around there. I just wanted to make sure I wasn't missing anything. Because I could have easily seen that being a step that totally juked me over at the end. Ha! Ah, you missed. Twox. Oh, I got stuck by the... Screwed by the tank controls. 1800. 1200. It is the control panel to set the target. The target has been set for the gigantic dinosaur. Is that an option that is, like, on the screen? Will you send the data to the satellite? Like, for example, target, like, for this anti-satellite that is totally... Okay, I can understand, like, accidentally teleporting yourself and your facility through a time, the time gate because you don't understand, or you, there's a malfunction with the machine or whatever, but how do you teleport a satellite with you? That... That, that is something I never thought about until now, actually. Or if they're in the future, I guess you could assume that there is a satellite in orbit that just was put there when humans were still around. Will you start the anti-satellite? Yes, I will. I love the way that this game escalates. Like, you, the last thing you do to the T-Rex is fight it off with a tank, and it's still not dead. <laughs> oh my god, this is so... You destroy it with a satellite cannon. That is awesome. Anyway. You fight off the T-Rex, the last thing you do to that is fight it with a tank and still don't kill it. And this jerk pops up. And that, that is such a big crater. Then that jerk pops up. And you happen to... Um, I, don't, I don't remember where to go. Oh yeah, I have to go through that big blue door. And then the... Gigantosaurus pops up, and the first thing you do with that is fight it off with flamethrowers, and a missile falls right next to it and explodes, and that thing isn't dead. So, escalating even further, you shoot a satellite cannon at. That is ridiculous and awesome. Anyway. Gina around? We need her. Oh, there we go. Are you all right? 
Should I hurry? Yeah, we don't have much time left. Let's use this gate and get out of here. Yeah. Good call. That's not good. Paula. Oh, that's even worse. Why's the future's computers gotta be so big? No. No. Papa. Paula. Dylan, what are we gonna do? If we don't go now, we'll never get back. Wow, we already activated his one time use. The gate is open. I know you don't want to, but you have to go back by yourself. I won't leave Paula. Are you crazy? Just go, please. You have the third energy data, right? When you get back to our original time, use the data to learn about third energy. Then build the perfect gate and come pick us up for the last time. Yeah. I. Dylan. <laughs> well then, you better get back quick. That is such a cool shot. <laughs> Yep, and there you have it. Really, game? I was ready to give my reflection upon this game and how I feel about it and just gonna go start skipping at the credits. Alright, anyway, first of all, credit music here. Perfect. Alright, so this game. I thoroughly enjoy it. I was so hyped for the f next one to come when I was younger, after this ending. And then it turned out to be fighting dinosaurs in space with a bunch of people that you never cared about. Because they weren't... <laughs> Seriously, that was such a good, like, hook for a sequel. That is, like, a cliffhanger that is never gonna get resolved. Because... Like, yeah, Dino Crisis 3 screwed over any hopes of that. They technically resolved it with Dino Stalker, but, like, I didn't even know about that until, like, a couple years ago. Oh, yeah, this part of the credit sequence is just so awesome. Anyway, this is one of my favorite games as a kid. I still enjoy playing it every year or two now. I think it would be really cool, like, I'm not so bent on like a Dino Crisis 4, so much as just like, maybe remaking the first two, because no one cares about 3, and then making like a true sequel after that. Because like, making remaking the first two like, I know this console generation's getting by on re-releases and stuff, but this was like, PS1 to PS4 is a massive jump. That's why Crash Bandicoot's remakes are gonna be great, and not some cheap- er, I won't feel like some stupid cash-in. But, like, I feel like if they just remade it with- for today's generation of consoles, maybe update the writing a little bit because, you know, it wasn't dinosaurs. <laughs> It'd be great. Yeah, this part of the credits is great. Getting to see all of those, like, areas that I was talking about before in high res. 
how perfect they captured the jungle. Seeing that in... Seeing that in, like, today's... Dude, I would really like that, because, like, all the zombie apocalypse things have you go into the forest and other stuff, but they don't capture, like, a... The, they wouldn't capture... I don't think they capture the wilderness and stuff, like, the same way that, like, this game captures, like, the prehistoric dinosaur jungle stuff. My little summary here has been all over the place. But the moral of the story here is that I think that it would be great to remake the first two and then make like a true sequel to this. I missed three dino files for almost five hours to clear time. Five hundred and forty thousand extinction points. I got a B. That's not too shabby. A bonus game, Dino Coliseum, has been added. I might make an extra video about that. Yeah, you get to buy things for that. Like uh, these are guys from the first game in the tank. And then you get to buy, you can play as dinosaurs too, which is great. I don't think I can buy anymore. Yeah. Finding some hot garbage that they, oh, anyway. That's about all for that. That's all right though. Data isn't broken, data is unusable. I'll just save over the cockpit cabin one there. Boom. Yeah. I just saved it twice, but anyway. Yeah, and then you get this spiffy new... And then you get this spiffy new one here. I might make a video of me doing the Dino Coliseum some other time, but for now... Let's play Dino Crisis 2 is over. Thank you for allowing me to share this experience with you. And this has been Reaper Hunter 23, and I will see you in the next Let's Play.